Hello and welcome back. If you watched my last video, you would have seen me solve this problem here using integration by parts. And it's a fairly straightforward process in the end. It looks complicated at first, but with practice it gets quite easy. And you'll see we have this expression to solve and we worked out these four values, substituted them into this rule here, and we ended up with the final answer. Okay, so if we have a look at this one, now what I'm going to do with this one is I'm going to do it the wrong way to start with to show you basically so you'll to, uh, highlight the, the correct way of doing it, what we're looking for because these are, um, there's only one way this works and that is obviously to do it the right way. So here we see an example. So what I've done is I've got uh, cosine 2x times 3x and I've dis, uh, designated the first term as being the u and the second one being the dv dx so that I can insert it into this formula, into this rule. And you'll see I've worked out my values here, so I've got u is cos 2x. The derivative of that is minus 2 sine 2x. Um, my dv dx is 3x, and the derivative of that, sorry, the integration of that, so I can get v is this term here. So I've got my four values. So if I then take those four values, insert them into this rule here, I get this result I've got here. Okay, so I've got this one here. Now I don't know if you immediately spot this, but if you look at this closely, the whole, the whole idea was finding a way of, of solving a problem where we've got uh, a multiplier, we've got a product. So this is multiplying this. We've got to integrate both, but they're multiplying in each other. So this is one of the ways of doing it. If you look at this answer here, this uh, attempt at a solution, you see that we've still got the same problem. We've still got this term, it's multiplying this term. And if I do the same again and repeat the exercise on this part, then I'll st this will actually get worse. This will go to x to the th uh, three. Um, this would be then become six as you take, the, uh, take it down. So it's not gonna work. And what I've done is I've, I've designated these the wrong way around. What I need to do is designate them the other way around so that I can solve it, okay? So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna get rid of all this. I'm gonna write in, I'll pause the video so you don't have to watch me working out all these values and then I'll come back to you. So this will only take a second in your time and a bit longer in my time. Okay, welcome back. So I found that fairly uh, richly ironic, me showing you the software that I use there to capture the screen. So you see the software I use anyway. Moving on, so here's my new value. So what I've done here is, I've changed this around the other way. I've decided that the 3x will be my u, and this will be my dv dx. And then I've worked out my values accordingly. Substituted them in to the formula, into the rule. So I've got 3x sine 2x minus, this time, this term here is, we've now got some function times a constant. There's no x here, in other words. So we can actually solve this, we can integrate this and solve it. And that's, that's the whole reason why we do this um, integration by parts. What the whole method about is getting this down to a, getting one of the terms to disappear, basically. So we've ended up losing an x, so that we end up with a constant, so we can solve it. So that's why we've done it. So let's have a look at the detail for the uh, for the learning experience. So obviously u is just three, three x. So that's going to be in my formula this term here. Then I've got the derivative of that, which is simply three. So that's going to be the one that goes in there. Dv dx is the one I designated here. Okay, which we don't actually use, but we use that to find the V. There's two cases of the V, which is this term here, which is then substituted in there and there. Whoops, I missed a two out there. Let me just correct myself there. Okay, moving on. So what I've done is I put the values in and then I've gone ahead and solved it. Let's have a look. So I've got uh, 
and it's gone all the way. So you can see I've um, done my integration of this part here and that's given me this solution. So I end up with a minus, so I'm going to end up with a minus, a minus. So there's another mistake. Should be a plus. Okay. Don't worry about the final answer. The final answer I've read off my notes, so that is correct. Okay, right. So what we've got is I've done the basically I've done the maths, the number crunching, done the integration, um, taking this three to the front. Uh, the two has come out and dropped to the bottom, so I've multiplied the two into that, so that's why I've got three quarters. Then if I go down to my next stage, is insert my values in, because we're doing a, uh, a definite integration, so we get a definite answer. So I've taken the four and substitute it into here, this x, that's given me 12, three times four. Uh, two times four has given me eight. Same with this one. Um, this is zero because two times the second one zero, so the first term is nice because sine zero just becomes zero, so that whole term disappears. This term is one, so we just end it one times three quarters, which has become plus, of course. Um, is a plus. I've got a term missing there. Uh, no, sorry, sorry. It's okay. Fine as it is, we'll leave it a be. And then if I do the actual maths, I end up with about 21 uh, quarters, 21 over four. It, point zero 0.01 actually out is that, but it's nearly enough for what we're doing here. So that maths is just straightforward. Again, verify it for yourself, work your way through this example, see what how you find it goes. Now, another point here, uh, two points, while I before I forget, don't forget to put your calculator into radians. If you're doing any of the maths, we're always in radians when we're doing integration and differentiation. Okay, another scenario here that I need to mention is, as I say, we need to try and make this be the U term. Well, we do have to make this the U term. If this was actually 3x squared, for example, what we'd actually end up happening is we would have, this would be 3, 3x uh, 6x actually so it wouldn't have actually got rid of the x so what we'd have to do when we'd end up down here in this term we'd have a 3x 6x so what we'd have to do then is do the the, the whole process again the, the the integration by parts on this part again just and make that be the u term again just to get it down so we'd end up with 6 so it'd be quite long-winded, and you can actually have a situation where if this was, for example, to the three, or the four, or the five, then it would become ridiculous, you know, process, actually. But in the old days, that's the way you would have to have solved it. Okay, fortunately for us these days, we have software that make these things easier. So that's the process, that's what you're trying to do. You're trying to get that to become just a sim simple three, or a uh, constant basically without an x. So I hope that made sense. The other issue as well is, um, which I won't cover in these videos at this point, I might do one later on that, an example we're using logs. Um, if you've got, if you can't uh, do a derivative of a, uh, an integration of a log, not easily anyway. So you've got to try and, you can't, put that as, as uh, your derivative term. Let's see, I think I've got one here somewhere. No, I haven't. Okay. So to, I'll probably do a video on that later. And I'll also probably do a video explaining where this comes from as well, wh why this works. That's for f future reference. If I do do that, I might stick that on the front of a, of a video list, um, playlist, to, uh, as the first one maybe as an introduction. Okay, so I hope that was of use to you and thank you for listening.